So just a tip brought to you by Sound Gear, Gavin. Um, I heard you have a great tip for us this week. I do. Um, You're like yawning through it. Yeah, I know. But sorry. I know, Rough day don't, at work. Don't worry about it, dude. Um, no, ju- just the tip for me is pre-lockdown wheat fields in your area, especially if you're in like Minnesota, Wisconsin. There's not a ton of wheat in certain areas. Lock it down prior to season. Holy shit. You don't have to worry about scouting as hard then. Well, you still yeah. should scout hard, but what I mean is you can scout consistently easier and you're not like, if birds like leave roost and jump in one field, you're yeah. not all rushing to one spot. If you've already got yeah. it locked down, somebody rolls up five minutes before you or if you get caught at work, I'm notorious and Cal knows this for getting caught at work late. It happens to me all the time in all aspects of my life. So if I can just pre-lock down like 10 wheat fields where I think good roost in the area, good chances of having birds, yep. I don't have to worry, oh, fuck, I can't get off to scout tonight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my spot. Well, dude, not only that, but um, I would say this is like so applicable to the entire year. Like in a sense, in hear, a hear sense. me out, right? Like early season, you can definitely not just, you can get, permission on wheat fields but you can definitely go get permission on grass fields oh yeah 100%. like if you're like minnesota wisconsin dude go lock down every grass field around you anything grass and wheat on a good flyway with a roost nearby go lock that shit down and i was gonna say if you have a good roost and you know like previous years wise that there's traffic through that area go lock down the fucking cornfields too i do it <laughs> I, I mean the- why the hell not dude you know what they're gonna be in baby Let's Sooner be later. honest. Huh? <laughs> Sooner or later, 100%. Sooner or later, they're going to be in that corn, dude. So you might as well lock down grass, wheat, and corn. Just it's if it's point. near a roost, if it's on a good flight line, if you have traffic, 100%. That's such a good tip. Did Try. you uh, did you, did you you do that like the last few years too? I've done that since high school. Yeah. In high school, I would literally, I, I hated competing with guys because I was the only one that would scout in that old group I, I hunted with back then. So I was tired of like competing with guys that had five, six trucks on the ground. So in like June, I would just go lock down 10 dairy farms with pasture ponds, wheat, hay, yeah. and corn. And then I could just, I could always find something on one of the farms I had locked down. So you always had something to hunt. That never stopped me from chasing bigger feeds or other options. But yeah. if for some reason I wasn't finding other stuff, I knew I could fall back on a guarantee. You knew you had a traffic field at least. I had a traffic field or like I have one farm that I still hunt on to this day and it's consistently a barn burner four times a year. I can consistently hunt that four times a year for a barn burner. Yeah, I know what I mean, one. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, you're thinking of the other one, but it's just, yes. Yeah. There's actually two if you count that one. But consistency, it's always something there. It's bogus. Yeah. It's sick, though. It is. Yeah, no, that's a great, that's a, such a good tip. 100%. Go out and lock down permission on fields that you know have decent flight lines. You know, you've scouted, a lot of, a lot of you at least have scouted that area already. Yep. So like you may not have the field, but like dude, if you if you can get a good flight line on traffic that you know runs through that area and have a cornfield or something, or even like yeah, wheat field, grass field to start the year and you set the right spread, you're winning, hundred percent. All day. Um, golly, dude, you know it's late. Like you know we got to get you out of here and you can't <laughs> stop yawning. All right, uh, my just the tip is, and it's a really simple one, but it's a really important one. Okay. If you're going to hunt early season, especially in Minnesota, Wisconsin, where the temperatures are like pretty damn warm, dude, like yes. August, you know, North Dakota, dude, get some, get some bug spray. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Or like a, even get like one of those portable thermocells. Oh, dude, those are so clutch. I have yep. a thermocell, dude. It legit like, it's not going to fix your room, but it's going to fix the like three or four feet around you. <laughs> And that is all you need sometimes, man. Yep. Just a little bit of, of breathing space. So put a little bug spray in your in your blind bag. You'll be glad you did. And just get ready to hunt in t-shirts, dude. Yep. Absolutely. That's, Shorts. Have a good blind. Shorts and t-shirt. Yep. Shorts and t-shirt. Yeah. Sandals. All right, Carter. Uh, yeah, my tip for anybody that hunts with a camera guy, uh, the camera is not the thing that's flaring the birds. It's, it's just not. It's the uh, clients that are looking straight up in the sky. <laughs> Or it's the shitty hide that everybody's in. It's it one of the could two. be also the shitty hide that the camera guy's in. It could be, yeah. But it's not the camera. It's not the lens that's flaring the bird. Yeah, correct. No, I. that's bullshit because a lot of guys wear iridescent sunglasses. Exactly. I was gonna say, like I've had, I, like I, I'm just waiting for the hunt where the guy with the iridescent sunglasses is like, it's a damn lens from the camera. I'm be like, dude, I had that hey, happen. Dude. 
Did you really? I had that happen in Kansas. We were down there because my buddy Brody and I filmed for a guy down there. Or he filmed, I shot photos. And he literally turns around and goes, man, it's that fucking camera lens in the back. And Brody goes, you're wearing Oakley radars. Shut the (laughs) fuck up. Like a four inch by four inch just mirror. Yeah. And he had like purple or no, uh, orange and yellow lenses. (laughs) Please, sir. Yeah, Hell it's yeah. just it's no. frustrating. It's not it's not the camera. There's a million other things, and then you just blame the camera guy because it's the easiest. Yeah. Well, Fuck sometimes yeah. I'm just gonna say it could be the camera guy. Yeah, I, it's not the camera. It's itself. not the camera. It's well, it could be the camera guy. Yeah. Could yeah. Be. I mean, if you have flash on, that could be a problem. Well, then yeah, get a new well, then camera you're just guy. A bad camera guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get a better camera guy. Yeah. 